Good afternoon. Hi, my name is Shelby and I'm a psychic medium. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I just hiked out um, to the back of my dad's property so that um, I could make a video and sort of ground myself back to the earth, to Mother Earth, um, get my feet back on the ground. And uh, this is one of the ways I do it. So I thought I would share it with you. Um, what I'm doing right now is I am out um, by the water. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a little pond in the back there. It's, you know, it's nothing spectacular, but it's water and it's peaceful. And um, I'm around trees. Came out here. It's absolutely beautiful out here. There's a lot of blackberry bushes. But, um, I came back here because, um, uh, you know, I've got a lot going on in my life, and I know a lot of us do. We have many things that we're dealing with. Sorry, I'm just caught on branches. Um, many things that we're dealing with in our lives, and, um, not all of them pleasant, and I know I've talked to a lot of you guys right now that have had a lot of struggles happening with you, and, um, you know, just trying to reach out and, and talk to all of you right now that are having struggles, having problems. So together, this morning, we can try to heal together, okay? So I'm going to start out by saying a little prayer. Cleanse, clear, fill, and encircle us with thy divine white light of protection. Remove all negative energy from us. Fill it with God's love and return it to its proper plane. In its place, put the highest and most powerful vibrations of light, peace, and love. We are light, peace, and love. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, I follow this with grounding and... Um, I've done a grounding video before, but I'll sort of walk through it with you again. Um, you can do it with your shoes on or off. I prefer to have mine off, so I am taking my shoes off right now. My toenails look terrible, but I'm going to show you. Just got my shoes off. They are planted onto the earth. And now I'm going to imagine in my mind's eye that... There are roots coming out of the bottom of my feet and they're digging into the earth. And while this is happening, I also am having light, the light of God that's coming down through my crown chakra and I'm being filled with it. So every time I breathe in and out, imagine that that white light of God is coming through every pore in your body until you're completely surrounded in the white light of God or the divine, whatever you want to call it. It's just fine. Then what you're going to do is you're going to imagine those roots that are coming out of the bottom of your feet digging into the earth. So with your mind's eye, I want you to imagine this. They're digging into the earth. They're digging and digging till they come to stones or crystals or whatever your soul feels like it needs that day. Um, today I'm feeling like I need emeralds. Um, so with my roots, I'm going to be picking up emeralds. Um, so I'm just going to imagine that each root is picking up an emerald. And then I'm imagining the roots going back up through the earth coming all the way back up until I'm completely surrounded from head to toe. Kind of like Glinda the Good Witch. Remember when she came down in that bubble on Wizard of Oz? Imagine yourself like that. It doesn't matter what stone you choose. Your soul usually knows what you need. So just go with it. Um, hold on, I'm going to put my shoes back on here. <laughs> I don't want to get poison oak again. I got poison oak. That's why I've got this sweatshirt on. 
I was uh, poison oak or I broke out in hives, one of the two. But um, yeah, I'll show you real quick. It's <laughs> out here trying to help my dad, and it's like all over my neck. And it's getting better. It was a lot worse. <laughs> But, um, anyways, just getting the shoes back on. That was a side note. Remember that we are always being tested. We are always learning. We are always growing. We are always ascending. Because the goal is to become our highest selves. <clears throat> this process is really difficult. And not a lot of people understand until they start going through it that it can be very painful. Um, I'll share a little bit about what's happening with me right now. Um, I think I've mentioned a few videos um, about um, the religious attacks I've been getting from my family um, who don't like the whole psychic thing, they don't like the medium thing, they think it's evil from the devil, they think I'm talking to demons. Um, very painful for me because I know that's not what I'm doing and I'm trying to learn to forgive. Um, going through this time period right now with my dad, uh, you know, with his lung cancer and it being removed and part of his lung being removed and um learning patience right now um trying to remember that when people are hurting they're not always <laughs> going to be in the best mood but it's not personal um i'm learning to appreciate my family um that i have uh missed a lot of good time with, and I'm trying to make that up. There's a lot of things going on with all of us right now. The world is changing. Things are changing. And some of it's scary. You know, we don't quite know what's going on in the world right now. What's going to happen? Everybody's up in, in a roar and, you know, talking about revolutions and... Um, you know, uh, just, uh, just all kinds of stuff. I mean, and it's scary for people. And um, I want you to try to do your best not to get scared over this. This is something that we will get past. We will get through it, okay? Um, trust in God. Do what you can. Everybody has a job. Everybody has a different job. Everybody has psychic abilities. Everybody. It's just trying to figure out what yours is and what you need to do with it. Um, some people's job it is to be advocates. Um, some people um, do peaceful protesting for different things. You don't have to do it in a violent way to get your point across. It's the opposite. You get more um, positive reaction from people when you go about it in the right way. When you start getting angry and you start doing crazy things, number one, you look like a nut nutcase. <laughs> okay? And number two, nobody's listening to a word you're saying. All they're looking at is what you're doing. And you know, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. And uh, I really don't like to get into politics. But there are greater things going on in this world right now besides politics and who the president is, okay? We need to follow our spiritual jobs. We need to keep moving forward. We need to keep spreading light. We need to keep helping people. We need to keep lifting people back up off the ground. We, we need to start reminding each other how special that we really are. It's really important. We need each other. 
We are all one, all of us, all over the world. We're all connected. We are all one. We just need to figure this out again. Work together. Try not to stress on things that you cannot control, okay? Uh, I know it's hard, and uh, they are. There's, it's scary times right now. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Everything's going to be okay. We've gone through <laughs> lots of different things, um, you know, before I was born, you know, uh, just all through time things have been going on. So just realize this and realize that this too shall pass and that we do have God or the divine or whatever you want to call it. It's all the same. We're all one. No matter what you call him, he's the same person. Okay? These different religions, not that I've gone over this before, but it's all God. Okay? We're just calling him by different names. Um, I guess that's all I really wanted to say to you today. I wanted to leave you with a peaceful message today. Um, go do something for yourself today, something special. I don't care what it is. You go do something for you today, okay? And then tell me what you did, because I'd love to hear. And um, I hope you all have a wonderful Saturday, and I will talk to you really soon. Thank you for listening to my video, and as always, I love all of you. Have a great day, guys.